that that measure is now passed in the House. Um, this is the second time in two years. I lived in D.C. long enough to know that when it gets to the Senate, the chances are, are almost non-existent of it going anywhere. What, what are Democrats in Washington there on the Hill saying about why they held that vote today? Well, they say it's about fairness and democracy and representation for the 700,000 residents of the District of Columbia, most of whom don't work for the federal government and you know pay taxes but don't have representation in Congress. This bill does now head, head to the Senate, where in a big shift from last year, it's no longer run by the Republican Mitch McConnell, who opposes D.C. statehood. It is now run by the Democrat Chuck Schumer, who supports D.C. statehood. The president, no longer Donald Trump, who opposes D.C. statehood. It's now Joe Biden, who has thrown his support behind this measure. Still, you need 60 votes to move much of any legislation in the Senate. Democrats have 50 members, and they do not have a path to 60. As long as the filibuster remains in the Senate, D.C. will not become the 51st state. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.